What's good? What's good? What's good? Black Star Podcast. This is your boy Jared. And today we are going to be doing a video review of Brother Jay from More to Life. Sorry about that. Um, today we're going to be hearing from a Kenyan woman. And apparently, yeah. Brothers, all I'm going to say is this. Look at this. Keep it calm. That's all. I personally believe that men would always like lead. For me, I'm that kitambo person. Mm -hmm. I would believe manaume ongozanjia. I will follow you because you cannot lead your future. Mm -hmm. We are your future, right? Your mm -hmm. generation. Twende mm -hmm. And you have the right person ataku lead direct if you let him be a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> my man always doing these clips but you know and, and that's what's happening right guys are hearing that and saying i want to go over there but you already see i showed you her and the other woman for a reason because no matter where you go and i want passport bros to know this no matter where you go there's going to every woman around the world thinks somewhat modern. So you do have to be careful. There's still single mamas out there. There's still mothers that grow up without a father, right? Who, who automatically will take woman's side. You have women that are still feminists out there. It's wild. Yeah, and he's actually quite correct when he's saying it. But let me ask you guys this. When it comes down to it, they in other women in other countries, they're showing us more and more every day that brothers need to just reset when it comes to a lot of these dating standards here in America. Now, my question to this question to you is this: with everything that's going on. The BBLs, the um, the women acting crazy as hell, thinking that they know every damn thing and they don't. Let me ask y'all this. After all of this. After all, of, after all of these Kenyan women, after all of these Brazilian women, after all of these Colombian women, after all of these damn different videos of everybody saying that they want a black man, how can we sit here and allow these women to talk trash about us behind closed doors? That's the honest question. How can we sit on this platform and allow these women of of our own community, black women specifically, to sit here and say that black men are not worthy of being loved by anybody else that was a whole Kenyan woman and she said that she wanted leadership now I'm gonna say this black women y'all keep on those are the very same sisters that's gonna take your husband. Those are the very same those are the very same women that are gonna literally sit on this platform, he he ha ha in your face, and take your husband at the end of the day because she can see that he's a good man. See, I don't wanna y'all don't want y'all don't want people to tell the truth. Whoa. We own to y'all. We own to y'all. You've got white women, you've got Latinas, you've got Asian women, you've got K 
Kenyan, Colombian. Every race of woman is saying that they want a black man. We are the most sought out the men after white men. Now my question is this. Is that a is that a coincidence? I think not. I in particular think this. These women are seeing what these men are offering. And they're craving it because that's something that they don't see every day. Y'all talk trash to us. Y'all trash us in the media every day. And then every day we prove to you that we're worthy. We're worthy of y'all. And then when we marry outside our race, come to, come to find out, y'all get mad at us. When y'all say y'all don't want us. So, is it this? You want us to be here at the end of the day. Here, when you get done fucking around with Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, Tyrone, Enrique, um, Ahmed, and all these different other men of other communities to take care of your kids. And then after we take care of your kids... You leave us and go back to the streets to get your back blown out some more. I don't think black men deserve to be disrespected and treated like shit because of a previous generation of black men. And then also, that previous generation of black men, you kicked them out of the house to take government assistance. So you've got that situation too. See, there's always this. There's always going to be the statistic that's going to say that black men are always involved with their children. There's going to always be a statistic that says majority of black men are always involved with their their children. It's just so happenly you pick the black men that don't want to be involved in their children's lives and keep on creating these broken homes. And that's the reason why you're angry because you've got women like that beautiful Kenyan woman right there. Saying that she wants a man that's going to lead her. I mean, you can't get mad. I mean, even if you even if you do get mad, you just look fucking silly and stupid. Time for you ladies to start checking yourselves. Because apparently, if you if all of you, if a lot of you are getting that bent up out of shape over these men dating outside the race... Time for you to figure out why these men are dating outside of the race. Just a thought. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe.com. If you guys have any suggestions for a microphone so I can actually give you better content, please comment down below and, uh, and make your suggestions. I'm probably going to go with a surf mic, but... That remains to be seen. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe channel again. Thank you for supporting the podcast. I will catch you guys on the flip side. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.